Hi, in this video we're going to look at creating an object and adding that object to a room. So on the screen you can see the sprite that I created um, uh, from my last video, or at least the sprite I'm going to use in my game. You've created a, um, a sprite um, for your main character and you're going to use that now to add, um, add this uh, sprite to an object, which is its costume and you're also then going to add that object to a new room. So I can close this sprite object down by clicking on the X. And then what I'm going to do is to come over to Objects in my Assets browser. I'm going to right click and then I'm going to create, and this time I'm going to create an object and not a sprite. So I'm going to do it here. Okay, in the same way last time as we've called uh, our sprites with certain naming conventions, objects are the same and they are obj underscore and then whatever you want to call it so i'm going to call mine player okay so over on this window okay you can see that there is no sprite allocated to this object at the moment and we have no events so to add a sprite i'm just going to click this no sprite uh, button here there's a folder there for the sprites that i've created so far in my game and this is my player sprite that I've created. So I'm going to click this sprite. And you can see now that it's allocated the sprite to the, um, the object. I can now use that in game. But it, it, it can get confusing because if you look at the, on the assets browser, the object player has the same sprite as the sprite player, which is right. Um, but you have to be careful that when you're using these uh, objects, you're not actually using the sprite instead of the object. So what I always do is just to, to close down that, um, that sprite window there, that sprite area. Okay, so we've created a sprite. Um, there are no events associated with the sprite yet. We're going to cover the, um, some simple events in the, uh, in the next um, tutorial video. But what I do want to cover with you at the moment is uh, rooms. So if I click on the rooms button over here, the rooms um, arrow at the side there, that um, will show you the rooms that have been created and, and Game Maker always creates one default room um, for us to start. So I'm just gonna open up this room. You'll see that I've got my workspace tab and my room tab now open at the top here, okay? And something to bear in mind is that the size of our sprites that we're going to create in this game are always 64 by 64 okay, uh, pixels. So when we're looking at room sizes, we need to remember um, the sizes of these. okay? Because obviously if we start creating odd room sizes, there is, is a chance that uh, you might get some parts of your room cut off. So um, it's important to remember the, the dimensions. So let's go back onto the room. Uh, for my game, at the bottom of the uh, screen here, I got a room properties option. Okay, at the bottom here. Okay, and what I want to do is to change the size of my room. Now, the size of my room, I want to change to 1920. Okay, by 1080. Press enter. Now um, I can zoom out of my room um, by using the tools at the top. Okay, um, and you can see that um, I can use the uh, clicking down of the thumb wheel to move my, uh, my room around, and I can center fit my room so that fits the room to the screen. So that room is now 1920 by 1080, so that's full HD, which is what most uh, screens are today. You can use it different sizes. There's, as a matter of fact, the example that I showed you is a different size. Uh, but I'm going to uh, create this game in 1920 by 1080. And to put objects into my uh, my room, all I have to do is to click on the object and drag and drop. And now you can see my object is now in my room. Um, once I've clicked and dragged that into the room, if I hold down the Alt key, I can put as many objects as I want anywhere in the, in the room. Or I can click and just drag on as many as I want. Or if I hold down the Alt key, I can click and just create as many objects as, as I need and I can do those as well. So my object is now on the screen, I can move them about. Um, so that's uh, as far as I want to go in this tutorial. So we've looked at creating um, objects from sprites, using sprites, and I've uh, looked at using the, uh, the, the rooms. And the one only last thing I want to show you is this button at the top here, which is the run button. 
And if I click that, what that does is compiles my uh, my code. I haven't got much code at the moment, but if I run it, you can see it compiling at the bottom here. And then that is my uh, game as it will look in um, when it's run. Uh, obviously, at the moment, my character doesn't do anything because there's no code attached to it. But what I have done is uh, demonstrated the uh, the character successfully uh, it, uh, is populated into the room. So in the next video, we're going to look at adding um, movement around the room um, using events.